Hi, this is Tom from Blue Dot, and today we're going to take a look at how to make phone calls and texting with your HTC Incredible uh, for the for Verizon. First thing you want to do is power it on or wake it up if it's already on by tapping the power button and swiping down. There we go. And down here, you'll have most of what you'll be using: uh, messages and contacts, things like that. And right here, right in the center, is the phone call button. Press that. And this is pretty straightforward. I mean, it just looks like any other phone. So you can just dial in whatever number. We're just gonna make up a number here. Now, if you wanna make a phone call, you just press that right here. But let's say we want to save this contact. This is the first time we've ever called this person. We might call them again. Um, so you can actually go right up to here and save two people right up at the top. It's a little hard to see, but there we go. So just gonna tap that. And this will give you an option to either save it as a new contact or merge it with something else. So if it's a friend who has a work phone number and a personal number and a cell phone number, you'll want to just add it to theirs. But this is a new person. So we're gonna go to create new contact. And now it gives you a plethora of options to fill in here. You can actually have a picture of the person on here if you want. Um, if you have a Facebook account, uh, one, after you fill in all this information, especially their email address, it might actually sync with the Facebook account automatically. Um, but we're not going to do that, so we have the mobile name here. We're going to fill in their name. Let's put in a fake name here. We'll name this person Jim. Jim Joe. It's a very boring name. Now you can put in other information too, you can put in their email, you can put them in a group, so if it's coworkers or family or friends or somebody very important, you can have them all in the same group. The bonus of that is that if you're sending out a mass text to these people like coworkers and saying you're going to be out sick all day, you can put that into your text messages and just say send it to all of your coworkers and they'll all get the same text message. Um, you can also put in their birthday events so your phone will alert you when it's their birthday. And there are plenty of other options you can actually add down at the bottom. Uh, instant messaging, their postal address, pretty much anything. So we're gonna save this, just simply Jim Joe. And now, uh, if we type in this number, it'll automatically just say Jim Joe when we're calling them. Now there are other options here uh, when you press the phone call option. Uh, there's right next to call, is this right here, which should, seems to be like a little rectangle with the phone symbol. This is actually your contact page. And it'll immediately just go to your call history. Um, but if you didn't make any recent calls, you can also, also go all the way to the left here, which will just be your contacts. And it'll have everybody you've ever called or you've added into your contacts here. So it just has me and Jim Joe, who we just added. And if we wanted to call Jim Joe, just select that and it would show us all the information. Then we can select this up here at call and it'll make the call. So now we're gonna go back to the home screen. You're just gonna press this right here. It just looks like a little house. And that'll bring us back there. Um, now we're gonna check out text messaging. Um, on this phone, it just says messages down here. It's right up here. And right here, it has you selecting who you're gonna be sending this to. Now you can press this and it'll go to your contacts or you can just start typing the name. So let's start typing the new person we added, put J. And right away, we just put J and Jim Joe shows up first because they're the only contact we have. Uh, typically, if you had multiple people with the same starting letter name, it'll list them alphabetically, um, sometimes by the last person you text. So let's just add in Jim Joe. There we go. And now we can just type in anything we want. Uh, the cool thing about this too is that when you start typing words, it'll guess the word you're typing here and you can just select it. Now this just looks like a regular uh, QWERTY keyboard, so it's like a standard keyboard you get at any uh, computer or typewriter or anything like that. Um, but up top you'll see that there are no numbers listed at the top except just above the letters here. To get to those you can actually press and hold 
and it'll give you the option to either get the number or even different type of letters with accents above them. Um, now if you're going to be typing in a whole phone number, this could take ages. So what you can do is go down to here, press that, and that'll bring up the numbers just straight out and you can just go crazy. There's also other symbols here, like the at symbol, dollar sign, stuff like that. And there's several pages of it, so you can press this to get even more symbols. And to go back to the regular keyboard, just press the ABC down here, and there you go. You can also attach pictures or files by pressing this little paperclip thing here. And it'll give you options on what kind of thing you're going to attach. It can be music, it can be pictures, you can even con you can even put in somebody's contact information if they ask for somebody's number, things like that. Um, if you are sending a picture or video, we'll, we'll cover this in another video, but um, if you're sending a picture or video, if it's a very large picture or video, it will downsize it. Um, I would not suggest sending large video files. Sometimes it'll truncate it or it'll just look absolutely terrible. Um, so just upload that and I would typically just email it to a friend. All right, and that is how you make phone calls and texting with the HTC Incredible. Uh, in our next video, we'll be covering how to take pictures and capture video. My name is Tom from the Blue Dot. Thanks for watching.